one thing that I am trying to adopt is um, one thing that I'm trying to adopt is the the saying that goes the master has tried and failed more times than the novice has even made attempts. Okay. So I just found the plasma beam. And now I have... <coughs> All this shit up here that I can do. My opponent just finished. Yikes! Um... <coughs> Wait. Ah. Hey. Okay. Oh. Thank you. 
I wish I knew how to short charge. Damn it. Uh, the space jump normally allows you to jump for, like, ever. But in this one, it has a limitation. It only gives you as many as the ticks that you see underneath or next to my ammo count. You pick up more jumps as you play. I see that on the map. Where is it? last location the gloves before getting dark relaxer Bird. 
Was that? Yes. So there was a map download over here which gave me all this gray area. Frozen Lake, huh? everything here. So what's down here? Okay, so...
being a Metroid doesn't does me absolutely no good. useful down that way. <clears throat> well, cell charge increases the rate at which you charge your uh, beam. Increases uh. There we go. Reduces your charge time by a quarter of a second for each one, and I have three of them. <coughs> so three quarter of a three quarters of a second so far have been reduced, which is nice, but. Get if I can do that. I don't want that to be fucking stupid shit like, oh, too bad. It's screw attack only. Eat shit. mind. What the fuck happened there? 
That was weird. Where the fuck is the screw attack? What did that do? Nothing. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay, so I can't hurt Ridley still. Ugh. God damn it. <laughs> So clever. So I didn't need to do any of that. I could have just done that. <clears throat> God damn, man. I want to find it, though. I want to find the thing that lets me explore more! It's not a matter of time loss, it's a matter of I want to find the fucking screw attack.
<laughs> I can put my Metroid suit back on. is a ridiculously hard uh, movement puzzle. I've never tried this before. Um, I'm trying to I can't do it from here. lost interest in figuring it out. There is no specific video for this exact room. What is this room anyway? <clears throat> Mezzanine Concord. Yes, you may. I was about to look up a video that just showed, like, the exact movement of it. <clears throat> what you are doing won't work. Well... 
find a way to fall faster. That does not include moon falling. <clears throat> oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, god damn it. Such a La Mulana 2 situation thing. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh, you piece of shit! Of course, it would be one more room slash shutter. <clears throat> like there was a La Mulana 2 puzzle where you got, you wore something and then the puzzle was take it off. Thank you. Like, the secret to it was fall faster. Like, how the hell do you fall faster? And then instantly, wait a minute, started the game. The, one of the very first upgrades was... Because it's not a Metroid thing. Like, you don't think about it. <clears throat> well, now what? I've been basically everywhere. I don't... <clears throat> I'm missing the screw attack and what looks to be one more beam. I'm missing... One more damage upgrade, three more charge upgrades, and one more space jump. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then however many ammo in expansions. <clears throat> um... Can I get the screw attack without initiating the uh, thing up in the starport? I'm deliberately asking the question in such a way that tells me if I can get the screw attack as I am now, or if I have to initiate whatever that uh, yes or no thing is up top in the space station. Yes, you can. So... <clears throat> Ah. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me look at the map over here. Why do I feel like there's something up there? <coughs>
Oh, damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Done pretty much everything that I can in the laboratory. I'm missing the screw attack that lets me traverse it easily. There's the secret room over there. That's nothing. <clears throat> um, Rockemeyer didn't have any situation where I wanted to. Be, I already know. Oh, I was able to access the Forbidden Room because I didn't complete the station. Interesting. So, that room there is a sequence break? Like, I, I am there out of sequence, that's what you're saying? <clears throat> I would say the difficulty has been reasonable. It does not expect you to be a speedrunner rando player, for sure. It does not expect you to be... Um, it does not expect you to be, like, quote-unquote, good at this game. It tries to be reasonably challenging, but it also tries to be fair. Like, for instance, I was able to, uh, I was able to totally wreck the Gold Terizo because I'm very used to fighting Gold Terizo with low resources. <clears throat> All right, see you later. This was speed booster? Yes, it was. <sighs> All right, um, Amoeba, what is it that I already know? Yes, I won my race. <clears throat> Basically already checked all this shit. I just made a note that, like, there was able to, I was able to traverse this thing just as soon as I had the Metroid suit.
So, made using that. Defense damage for the most intense heat, but cost of vulnerability and closures. Absorb energy from that and reduces damage by that. So, I've been able to find most, like, laser shit. There might be something in the geothermal plant shit that I can go back to. Hyper beam, though. <clears throat> or an electric spark. So I can actually kill Ridley as I am. I didn't know about the spark. I never tried that because, like... Being outside hurts you. So either there's I knew that you, like, um, I didn't know about the spark as a thing. I knew that you could, you know, damage with the hyper beam and shit with the lasers, but I didn't realize that it also worked with a spark. But I never bothered trying it because it's like, being in this area damages you and I wouldn't have thought that developers would make you fight somebody while your health is being drained seems really impolite i'll just get up to that other save point and then i will <clears throat> then again i suppose if you think about it like, I'm kind of doing bonus overtime stuff? Kind of? Actually, that was a mistake. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I suppose it doesn't surprise me too much because you were actually expected to Hell's Run up here for the various suit in the first place. Okay, here we go. Oops. we go. Alright, get that off. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh. There we go. That's one. Oopsie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Second one. And the third one. Okay, I feel like I have misunderstood this puzzle. I'm just rotating one at a time until the laser behaves the way that I need it to. And it is not at all like I understood. Okay, I think I get it. If I am correct... Not. Okay. Kind of getting it. If I just shoot this once, okay. Now I'm gonna have to fuck around with the shit in here, aren't I? Oh, yes, I am, motherfucker! God damn it! All right, all right. So. I was only shooting the other one, this one. Okay, so that's I need to hit that one a second time. Puzzle is annoying. So I think I understand.
Uh, thank you for the follow. Oh boy. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so this area is 100% finished. Okay. This area is 100% finished. That feels good. <clears throat> right? Yes. Items. This area is completely done. How much is this left? 82%. Okay. Wait a minute. I can turn this back on now. Nice try. <clears throat> oh, shit. <clears throat> That's 85%. So it was 80, what, 81%? And then I just gained four? So there was a 
um, 19% and I just gained 4 so that means that there's probably going to be about 4 more items in this whole region okay so that Okay, I've decided to back out of going to dinner tonight. okay I would rather not <coughs> risk my grandmother getting sick she's already got like smoker's lung and coughs frequently So there was all that. I'm gonna drop down right here. What does Oceana look like? Seventy percent. Holy shit, dude. Man. <clears throat> I feel like... Does anyone know if a map of this game exists that has, like, all of the everythings? way better to get item locations what do you mean like find it myself I don't know <laughs> I've already played I've already been playing this game for in game time eight hours almost and I still have almost 20% of items left to find it's like almost a fifth of them and I don't even know where to begin looking for this stuff. I'm missing almost a third of 
what items exist in this area. I just don't know how much people want to watch me go and rub my tits against every little nook and cranny ever. Oh, there's something built into the game that I don't have access to. Um, so it's similar to Metroid Prime 3's revealing of all of the items on each planet. So... Hold on a minute. <coughs> Hold on. Yeah, I see how it's like, it would teach you, oh, sparks count without, you know, looking at the logs, which I suppose is on me. I wouldn't have expected that log books, uh, at least in this game, would have shown me the way. What was this? Hold on. Hold on. There's a plasma thing. <clears throat> I took decent notes, but not good enough, because now I have a couple of notes that don't really help me. Like, Vulner Cave's Lower West Plasma. It's like, that does not help. I pressed the jump button game. Oh, the thing that I'm thinking of is just a one-tile shortcut to somewhere else? Okay.
Oh god. Oh, that's where it is. That's practically not even anything. Nothing there. Right, 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 right. There is one spot down right here that I can find, which is probably only one item though. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. That takes me over to Oceana, I think. Yeah. Um, shit. Dark visor is a little bit too close to its namesake as it's like infrared heat, but using it in uh, really hot environments is kind of detrimental. What the hell? Oh, I see. That's right. <clears throat> Makes sense because it's radioactive. Which, I suppose, uh, uh, like if you use a thermal imaging of something that's radioactive, uh, it most likely will 
show some amount of infrared light, but it's mostly going to be showing stuff that's upper into the x-rays and gamma and shit like that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, that didn't do anything. Nothing. <clears throat> that I don't remember where Ah, uh, no wonder. As far as the depths are concerned, I'm missing only like one thing, which <sighs> fucking anyone's guess. Not a clue. where I got the grub beam. This fish is the strongest enemy in the game. Thank you. 
Well, that was one big loop. There are secrets in lava! <clears throat> the lava is just meant to be something that punishes you. Good thing this does nothing. Bothers me to just finish it as I am. There's even like an entire weapon I haven't found. There's also a suit power up that I haven't seen yet, which I'm guessing sits next to the x ray scope. Wait, there's an entire region I haven't seen? There are two regions I haven't seen from the Jozo stuff. I haven't seen Batwoon. I should go and do the, like, <clears throat> okay, yes or no question, if I go and do the dock clamps weapon fire thing up in the space station, will that function as a point of no return for some of the items that I am missing, yes or no? In other words, if I go do that, no, all items can be gotten even if I do that. Okay, so I could have done that long ago, I just didn't out of fear that it was a point of no return. Because games love to fuck you over, like Metroid Fusion for instance. Tons of points of no return. It's such bad design. <clears throat> then again, I suppose not everything in it is a point of no return. It's just that uh, it isn't until like the very end of the game that you can actually do it. As long as my goal isn't map percent, no. My goal is just get all of the items.
Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> like, I was afraid when I... Where am I going now? Uh... Need to go back to the pirate lab, which I guess is right over here. Like, I was afraid of the... Like, as soon as I had, like, had said yes on that thing, it would have been, like, uh, there's the timer. Let me make sure there is, in fact, nothing here. There is, in fact, nothing here. be fun. Yeah, there is, but it would have been like, oh no, the timer went off and you hit the reset button and walk away. It's like... Yeah. I didn't actually mean to. Alright, Kumi. Thanks for... Thanks for being here today. Have a good night. I don't think I will be doing any more of a races tonight. <clears throat> Uh, the only race that I have time for is a mystery race in about an hour, and um, I'm really uncomfortable doing mystery races right now. I don't. I don't feel comfortable doing mysteries. All I do is lose, and it just sucks. Well, at least this area is complete. <clears throat> uh, no. Higher. What's even worse is that mystery seed wasn't even uh, necessary. 
You didn't even need to do ice trinix. You just needed to do the climb, which she already had the key to do. Okay. <clears throat> Did I finish Rogue Legacy 2? No. I wanted to start playing this today. Or this weekend. Okay, good night. You lied to me. Well, I suppose. So I have two minutes to get the hell out of here. Question is. Where am I going? <clears throat> um... Or... I'm stuck. And I can't get out. <laughs> oh my god, the lag. Oh god, the lag. Question is, do I go to my ship or do I go to... Uh, the planet? Oh, I... Well, one way to find out. Why is there lava? I guess it's ship. Is how you're supposed to learn you can go in lava after getting the Metroid suit. Okay. So... Oh, now the cargo ship is over there. No wonder I was missing like a third of the stuff.
Oh shit! Whoa, baby. Damn it. Come on. I keep jumping back into its teeth. Wait. Kremlantis. Neat. Good choice. Well, I remember this room. Here's the real question. Why the hell are there Metroids that will immediately freeze after shooting them once, and then all of these idiots require me to shoot them multiple times in order to... What am I doing? curious why the devs chose to change the activation for x-ray scope to your weapon button as opposed to your dash button because if you want to ch oh. like right there if you want to want to protect yourself, you have to get rid of the extra scope! There are two of them!
Why am I checking this area? I've got... Wait a minute. This area here has 100% uh, completion, so I don't have to check anywhere. Like, those Metroids, they froze instantly. Why do the other ones not? This is bullshit. I see, I see. There they all are. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Koji. Oh, Lord. Ah. Keeps grabbing me. That should be full health, like complete full health. There are two things over in that direction. Okay, off we go. <clears throat> uh, what is the fastest route up? Yeah. 
Whoopsie. <clears throat> Oh. I think this is actually one way. <clears throat> look like it so there is something that I need to do So my beam is now as strong as it's going to get. Something in this room. I think in this room. I wish that the dark visor was not toggled. Over there. Well, now it's just a matter of cleanup. I've found pretty much almost everything, and I'm looking for the final areas of the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know anything here. <clears throat> it's up here? Damn it. Full health, oh god, I think as much. I'm sorry, I have to pet my cat. She's so soft. I wish I could pick her up and cradle her like you can most cats, but she is too uninterested in that. Nothing. something else over here. <clears throat> oh, 
nothing over here. And then this had the charge beam. No, this had something else. <sighs> Ow! There is nothing over there that... Is that a mistake? Okay, yes or no question. Is that edge item there a mistake? Yes or no? Or that's a real item. So I'm going about this the wrong way. I imagine that the world is going to wrap in some place. Because I just scanned all of these rooms that touch the left edge of the map from where I am. And there's no way back there. Like, there's no way over there to the left. I scanned all of it. So... I guess I have to come back at it some other direction. <clears throat> An answer to that? Uh, actually, yeah, I do. Because I don't want, if I can get this now, I do not want to, like, walk away, find basically nothing, and then come back here later, like, banging my head against a brick wall looking for an opening. This is accessible from, I missed a spot? Okay, so it's not here. It's not down below. I scanned every inch of the rooms down below. Oh, wow, that's a tiny little spot. What a cute little throwback to fucking... Uh... Yeah, evidently. Holy shit. It's not that, like, that's not supposed to be easy. It's like, that's supposed to be fucking merciless. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thankfully, I don't have to search anywhere else that doesn't take me directly to- What the fuck? I do have to search other places. Okay. Not a fucking chance that I'm entering the mystery tonight. I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh. Oh, the spacer is turned off. No wonder. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Susie Island. There are two items here. Oh, balls. This seems end game. Get off me! I literally can't get out. Holy crap. That sucked. Oh, there are four items here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is DKC3. Well, I guess I will. Oh. 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Just hit me. Oh shit. Don't tell me it's dark visor garbage. <clears throat> so Guess you don't go through this way. Yep, nope. Just not the right answer. Second. Thank you. 
I need to pause real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Oh. Way, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, the version. Has to be something over to the upper, like above me. Lots. Of, I'm enjoying it. There are a, a couple of spots which, like, <clears throat> it's sort of intuitive. Uh, it's sort of counterintuitive, but not really. There are some things that, if you have good, like, movement abilities. You miss out on some, like, interactive teaching. The log books are a nice touch, it's just that you have to really, like, read things from the start, I think. Like, as soon as you see it, just do it right then and there. <clears throat> Complex cipher. Oh. I feel like those things down there would just <coughs> rack me down. Those things, though, can fuck off. I saved there, didn't I? Yes, I did. <coughs> God damn, Hopper.
<clears throat> I have not missed a frame due to rendering and I have not dropped a single frame. Everything appears to be working just fine. Bothers me. Okay. can kill those. You can't kill them in the vanilla. You have to let a Metroid kill them. be killed in the vanilla? Why do I always remember, like, I shot them with every armament that I had and it just, uh, fizzled, basically. Cute little dragon roost. Spikes. Dang it, I can't. Hmm. 
Ugh. I can barely see those damn spikes. Coral, whatever the fuck they are. Reef is your... Not what I want. I don't want more ammo. I want a better gun. What has me confused, like, if you could actually kill them, which is, like, okay. Which is more than feasible. I just guess I just never tried. I thought I remember trying all the time. But anyway, like, What's weird is, if you could just kill it, what happens if you just kill it before the Metroid shows up? Can you just kill it before the Metroid just shows up? Because then the Metroid doesn't eat it. Oh. Ugh. Oh, the one in the cutscene is special. Okay, no wonder. Is there really nothing? Jesus. God damn, get away from me. Is there really nothing over here? Why? Oh. Game, uh, game is progressing slowly but surely. I'm betting those are the... And then I suppose that this is a return trip. Oh. 
Oh, I see. There we go. <clears throat> and then this last one here has to be hit by that red one on the other side. So this is an exit port. like though that I did have to do that because I had to open the four power bomb pieces from on this side. First time went over there, only four were closed? Hmm. trying to create some distance. Weapon research. Interesting. an ammo tank. Not seeing those damn spikes. Because they're like so on color with all of the everything else. I'm gonna uh, see what you see. I don't think I can do this. Not from the side. No. Shit. Okay.
Please get up. I have a charge beam. I can just... I'm an idiot. You can do it. What? All right, so let's get to this side of the room as quickly as we can. Ah, you're right. So... <clears throat> Gotta be quick about this. As soon as I start lowering them, the other one falls. Why? Wait a minute. Hold on.
Okay, so the top ones were fine. Wait a minute. Is it that the power bomb is able to hit that red one? No. As soon as I hit a bottom one of those, it... Unless it's order-based. Place this here. It drops. Okay, so I think I get it now. So here's the deal. Drop that. Ah. Uh, there is... Unless it's right here? Right here would hit them both. Okay. Well, I got it now. That was weird. Apparently. Seven cipher. Okay. Huh. Well, whatever. I did it. 
had to be done anyway. Uh, what am I doing? Uh... Oh. I have no missiles now. <laughs> um. That strikes me as the final boss. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna take a break to get some food. Does that hurt me? I'm trying to decide if I should have leftover uh, seafood creole or if I should uh, try to eat the leftover chili. tank. <coughs> oh cool! Map! continue to try and restore my health and ammo because this area takes a fuck ton of ammunition which I suppose to the game's credit is kind of good because it like you know gives you a reason to use the dozens hundreds of <laughs> more downstairs right here that I need to check. It's fine.
Oh. They actually break shit that I need to keep... I need to like just follow them. <clears throat> Let me restart this room. Dude, come on. Why won't he... 
move over a little bit. These things AI is not very smart. You need to be able to open that thing, but I can't open it without this moron moving over. Did I do them out of order? You have to follow him. Here's another cipher. Oh boy. Ooh. 
There's another one. Shit. All right, just for the sake of you don't recommend this location for the beach party. No, of course not. Uh, yes or no question. Is this the final area of the game? Because if yes, then I will just leave and no. Okay. Oh, I see. I get it. This doesn't strike me as a return trip. This strikes me as I'm supposed to be going this way. I 
think I did this too slow. That's the only thing. Where's the best spot to shoot? I think right here? No. Nope. Oh. There it is. So as soon as you hit this, 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 get them both and just keep running. Got it. I guess I have to jump at the end. Happy now. How all of this room is when you're less skilled. Half hour to get this far. Ouch. For what it's worth, though, I, um... <clears throat> It took me about two hours to figure out how to get the bombs because I completely glossed over the blocks that you could just shoot away. Ah. Ha! Ha! <clears throat> Shadow Dungeon. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm sorry, what?
I am looking at the acid, and the x-ray shows it's not really there. There, just get out of the way. Okay, that was all that shit. No, no touching. You're full of hatred and murder. You too. I know. Oops. <laughs> For some reason, I started thinking, like, oh, it takes five now. Uh. That should be all of them. That's all of them. Thunder Laboratory, huh? Ooh, stretching. It feels good. Oh boy! Key hunter, dangerous!
lightning is the symbol of technology? You would think that lightning would be like the symbol of creativity or uh, like the spark of life. Nervous. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Well, it's a mild cough, and like my throat's just tickly. Excuse me. I guess we're going in here. Oh. Oh! Okay. I can out DPS you. <laughs> Can out DPS you. <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe I can't out, out DPS you. Shit. Basically the same as using a super missile. Whatever. It's so hard. He counters uh, super missiles with Jesus hell. Thank you. 
Can I? I don't think I can. No, definitely not. What the hell? Tricky fight. One thing's for sure is you definitely do way more damage with supers than you do charge shots. Okay, so no, you do not do more damage with supers at all. Okay, so ditch the supers. That's not going to help in any way. Make sure that's off. Yes, it is. I need to turn Moonwalk off for a sec. the an extra shot it doesn't matter to me shit that's right mm -hmm. 
you have to be touching the floor in order for your charge to shoot. Refuge. Yes. Okay. is kind of helping me. Oh, come on. What a fight. <laughs> Hypercharge. Oh, wow. I feel like I should take a break to grab something to eat real quick because I haven't had anything all day. I had some strudel earlier, I guess, but it wasn't that much. So here's the question. 
Where the hell is that thing? But I'm going to take a small breather and I'm going to go grab something to eat real quick and I should be back hopefully fairly soon. No more than a half hour, I promise. So, see you then, everyone. <clears throat> okay, so sorry that that took so long, but there were some dishes that I had to take care of. All right. Aha. That's everything for this whole area. Yay! <clears throat> Out we go. <clears throat> Goodbye, this place. <clears throat> a much bigger area than I was anticipating.
Okay, so here I need to get the hell out and go up to those two places. Okay, I need that. <clears throat> All right. Thanks for hanging out, Skip. Have a good night. <clears throat> um, where am I headed? I need to go to west and up. <coughs> Shit. Oopsie. <clears throat> Got all about them, idiots. <clears throat> I wonder if I can go up over here? Oh. <clears throat> Shit.
That's been there the whole time. <clears throat> Okay. That's everywhere for this area. <clears throat> the Sky Temple, I believe, is finished, or rather, the cargo rail, I think. Well, let's start with the Vulner Caves. actually pretty close. Oh wait. Okay, where am I going now? <clears throat> uh, there is one up here. Oh. was going to happen. <clears throat> now where to? Kind of appreciate that they were all like right here. At the same time, I feel a little dumb because it's like they were all right there. Ah. 
Okay, so I'm betting it's up into the like make a loop up around here. Maybe it's the save point. Wait. It wouldn't be here, would it? No. Oh, for Pete's sake. Don't be sorry. Do your thing. <clears throat> it is okay for you to be lurking. Like, I posted that joke about somebody who's like, why do you even join a chat if you're not gonna talk? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Okay, so that's all those places. Now where to? <clears throat> Fastest bullet. Yeah, let's go down this way. Ow.
Okay. I'm missing one thing here? Probably. One thing, and it is indeed down there. Which... Was that lava? God. <clears throat> I'm sad that you don't get to listen to m much more Brio music. I like it a lot. It feels very, like... It feels very warm. It's very... What's a good way to describe it? <clears throat> it feels very rustic. And it's gone. Cool. Headed in the right direction. All right, now, here's the question. Excuse me. <clears throat> it was fucking right here. Oh, I thought I searched this whole air. Whoa. Oh, okay. Doesn't do it. It's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> 
That's not going to do it. They all stay lit for only one second. Boxes are awful. There we go. Christ. done. There should be one Omar Peaks. No. Life Temple, I think, is where I need to go next. Or Yeah, probably the Life Temple. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Wonder if it doesn't tell me completion of each area. Sure was. Okay, I need to go up and to the right. Oops, this ain't the place. Here we go. going. Wait. Okay, what do we got? It is over there. There are two things in here. Okay. Galactic flagship Daphne is over there too. Well, shit. Damn it! Wait a minute. Did you see... No. I thought I saw another dot circle thing. I guess it doesn't hurt so much that I'm here. It's like in absence of knowing. 
Oh, I'm out of fucking charges. Okay. The fastest way is... I do need to go down for that... for one thing down here. Okay. <clears throat> oh man, it's going to be a shine spark puzzle. Shit. Question is, where the hell do I do it? So, dot. That is such a tight fit.
Ow. Even do this? This feels so impossible. And I know I said impossible. that's an exit point please tell me it is Yeah, I'm still going for it the 100%. I'm missing one item. But it's... I don't know if it's a Shine Spark puzzle or not. If it is, then holy shit does it suck. You can't chain spark in this, so no. Okay, then. Hold on. This is. This is the place. God damn it, get away from me. That right there. Um, give me a second.
Uh, for the sake of time, yes. <clears throat> Oh, that's right. You can do that. It was the three stack that cost that made me confused. That's right. And I've been using the morph ball uh, speed trick. You are or I am? There's a distinct possibility I've been at this for, what, 10 hours now? I'm gonna just go this way. But, that's everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, now it all makes sense. I found the dev room because I was here too soon. Wait a minute. Someone mentioned that... I think it was you. You mentioned that... Uh... Okay, so this stuff is where you can... Like, if you never got them before the thing crashed... Okay, so it is go down and through there. Elsie! Ow! Hi! Hello! Hi, baby! <clears throat> I 
Eggs. I'm gonna have to do that all over again. <laughs> LOL! the Aurora unit is undergone some Holy shit, that was not very tough. <laughs> Hypercharge makes this easy? Oh yeah, I bet so. <laughs> As well it should. Like I believe if you are... Where the hell am I going? Um... I believe if you put in the extra effort to find all sorts of everythings... Uh... Is this just open? Yes. Uh, don't confuse me like that. I believe if you put in the extra effort to find all of the everythings and make yourself brokenly overpowered and um, insanely OP... Hello? Oh, that's right. Make yourself insanely OP, then you should be rewarded with, like... You should be rewarded with, uh, stupidly OP weapons and whatnots. Hmm. 
Why is the planet, like, exploding if I'm detonating a warhead? Uh, where am I even going? I'm going upstairs to the cargo and... Shit. Oh, come on. Why does Mother Brain's time bomb? Um... I guess it's causing the... Well, it at least causes Turian to destabilize. I don't know why. Mother Brain's time bomb, I guess, makes sense for Turian, but not necessarily... Like, it makes sense how as soon as you escape Turian, the... Um, the world, uh, stops. Sorry. In the rando for SMZ3, when you escape Turian and you make it back to Criteria, the world stops exploding. And the world is just normal again. And it makes sense in that sense because for Turian to explode, because, you know, Mother Brain's time bomb goes off and blows up that entire region. But I guess Mother Brain and Turian and shit were integrally connected to the planet or some shit. I don't know. GG's. But what's different is that... Oh yeah, I know. In Metroid 1, you blow up just the uh, pirate's base in Turian, and that just blows up an entire chunk of the planet. But then in Metroid 3, you blow up the whole planet. But for this one, the thing is that the GFS, uh, Daphne, was what had the warheads on it. That was just a ship that was in space. So why is a planet exploding because a interstellar ship crashed on it. But anyway. <clears throat> Test runner Amoeba of Doom. Well, would you look at that? Take a bow. <laughs> oh, level design. No wonder. And you're a programmer. <laughs> no wonder you're so knowledgeable about all this. <laughs> Thank you so much for making this. I enjoyed it. It certainly does. Um, Ant was in this. Uh, I want to read all of this. <laughs> Hard mode unlocked. Challenges unlocked. Oh no. Um, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. I, I screwed myself up most of the time by either overthinking something or I just totally missed a block. Like when I was headed towards the warrior temple, towards the bombs, there was a spot where you jump up into the ceiling and break away some blocks and shoot to keep going higher. I didn't realize you could break those blocks. So I thought you had to go up the vertical shaft in that, um, uh, the red bouncy assholes. 
Like it's a kill room and you have to kill six of them while breaking your way through the barriers. Each of everything costs three missiles. And I thought I had like gun, gum pay. Isn't it gun pay? G-U-N? Well, anyway. Produced by Deer Force. And of course I don't get Samus's like full look. Took way too long. All right, challenges. <sighs> uh, yeah, no. Hey, I got the forbidden room. Skip Varia, skip Plasma, Deathless. <clears throat> wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold on. 100% speed run. The goal is 2 hours and 20 minutes. Azure mentioned that the world record for this is 2 hours and 10, 2 hours and 12. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. In game versus still like that's a that's a tall order yeah found the forbidden room uh molly was there and to uh Ivanek or something, and their children, they love them. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. There are a lot of nice little quality of life changes. There's definitely a lot of the music I enjoyed. And I would have been more intelligent to utilize the lore. But it felt just like unnatural for me to use the lore because it doesn't... Like, even though it mentions it like in the corner of it saying like, new lore unlocked. In Metroid Prime, you have, like, a button that you can just press and takes you straight to it, but still. Um... The only difficult time that I really had was, uh... The Hyper Tarizo. <laughs> that guy killed me the most, uh, three times.
but I really enjoyed this. This is fun. I don't know if I'm going to be doing all of the challenges and stuff because I am such a weak Metroid player. I think my speed run is like just shy of two hours. 100% speedrun is just like shy of two hours and the world record for that is like an hour and ten. Non-numeric value challenges. So skip Varia, skip Plasma and save the animals. Oh, Deathless. Um, Deathless is a tall order because if I die, then I have to hose the whole thing. Saving the animals, though, is weird because, like, the Dagara doesn't even show up anymore, so you have to actually go find them. Deathless is, yeah, it's... It's probably the easiest of these things. Skipping Varia, Plasma. Plasma is not necessarily, well, kind of. It's one of those QOL things because Definitely skipping the Varia, the Plasma, and stuff is conducive to the low percent. Ah. percent felt harder to s than skipping Varia? Hmm. You mean you didn't do them simultaneously? Hmm. Doesn't the Metroid suit? I suppose this would be someplace where I would test it, but it said that the Metroid suit protects you from extreme heat. Does that mean it has a built in Varia suit? Oh, that's right. So... You need both Varia and Metroid to prevent protect against lava. <clears throat> but this was enjoyable. Thank you guys for making it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Kind of happy that I at least uh, found one thing 
entirely on my own, and that was the Forbidden Room. Like, if I didn't get any special reward for 100%, if I got nothing else to acknowledge uh, beating the game, at least I saw the Easter egg put in by the devs that apparently a lot of people don't see. Anywho. I don't want to be done is the problem. But I feel like I need to be... question is, where the hell would the animals be? You can only find them during the... during the escape sequence. Is it just like when you're escaping from Zebus in the original, if you go to the bomb Terizo, they're not there. They don't show up until whole playthrough in one. Oh, no, 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 no. This was two streams. I started yesterday and uh, finished today. But. Huh. Curious as to where I'm betting you would have to like. Um. What's even weirder is that the animals were in completely different locations. Would you have to save one at a time? The Itakuns were over in the Susie Ruins. The Dakara was over in the Life Temple. Like complete opposite sides of the world. But I have to be done because I have work tomorrow and I'm trying to make myself adhere to a sleep schedule so I don't wake up at, you know, the stroke of six thrashing to get into the shower for me to leave by 6.30. That's a lie. I leave at 6.45. But... Um, I am definitely going to be done for tonight. Thank you so much to Amoeba, Sean, uh, Asder, the test runner, and all the other folks who made this. I appreciate it like a whole lot. I loved the music. I loved the creative adjustments that they did to the bosses um like the the first chorizo when you know you break the uh you break it it dies it's like yeah you're not so tough and then two more fall down that was uh that was a joyous hearty laugh for me um let's see what else Oh, Dragon also did give me a little bit of trouble because there's no way to deal with the turrets. The turrets are a hell of a time. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I... That's the joke that I noticed when I was playing the game. It's like subversion because it is a subversion of expectations. Ha 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 ha! Croc was a, uh, it was definitely a, um, thing. <laughs> Surprise. As soon as I picked up the speed booster in the same room, something, like, clicked. Wait a minute. 
I have to use this against him. That's the whole thing. Uh, Batwoon got a twin, which was pretty interesting. I think a criticism I would have to say is one, the dark visor being something you toggle is kind of like I I can see the benefits of it where you'd have to swap between like the dark visor of Metroid Prime 2 and then your normal visor to see between the trans-dimensional objects versus the normal space that Samus is in. But at the same time, dedicating something that you have to click to four times and then fire in order to turn it on or off. What, especially while you're uh, being attacked by a bunch of assholes. It feels cumbersome. It's not so bad. It's not that bad at all. It's just the one thing that I had to do quite a lot was rapid uh, tapping to equip either the dark visor or the x-ray scope fire to toggle it on or off and then cancel to be able to engage in combat again. Alternatively, if you were to say collect the dark visor and then it becomes like all environments and hidden objects become exposed to you. That would have been like an alternative. Like it upgrades your eyes in its entirety. But then again, um, I guess the uh, other couple of puzzles that like got to me was the like, total credit goes to Amoeba on this one. Fall faster. How the hell do you fall? Oh, right. The things you forget you can take off. I'll be real, Lama Lana 2 got me with that. Like, you are wearing something and it's like, there's this one puzzle where the whole, in order to solve the puzzle, you have to take that piece of equipment off. And the first time I played the game, I didn't realize you could do that. Because you can't do that in Lama Lana 1. You don't have equipment that you can take off of yourself. And especially you don't have the ability to take equipment off in the OG MSX Lama Lana. Granted, I know you can take equipment off in Super Metroid, but there is almost never an op, like a reason to take it off, unless you're doing speedrun techs like um, uh, the Zeb Skip in uh, uh, the final fight. I tend to take off Screw Attack, so I can clip through the Zebs, but. There's, like, no reason to do that here. But then again, reading the lore is definitely... It's definitely what would help you better play the game. As soon as I saw the Metroid suit, like, that was the moment of read this, see what this does, and then suddenly like, allows you to withstand extreme heat. And you instantly, like, oh, this can take me through lava. But at the cost of, you can no longer survive cold. So, walk into any room with uh, the Metroid suit on. If, you're, if you start taking damage, it's clear, like, oh, this is a cold area. 
And then that whole cheeky thing with the ice beam. Charging the ice beam while wearing the Metroid suit hurts you. Even if it's only one damage, it's like, god damn it. Also, uh, the sparks. I understood the lasers, but not the sparks. Because, like it said, if you stand within the lasers, the laser parts were... Yeah, I understand that. It's that... I think I remember... Let me look at it real quick. <clears throat> While touching a verdite laser or an electric spark. I just glossed right over that spark part. So I didn't even realize, because I had been in Ridley's room a couple of times. And I knew that there were sparks in it. But then it was like, oh, that's right. You can stand in that. And suddenly now you've got free hyper beam in order to shoot him. <clears throat> so. But overall, again, I liked this. I liked this a lot. And I'm really glad I played it. Glad that I spent the time to 100% and I may do some of the challenges offline, but I am... <laughs> I don't know how well... I'd have to watch a speedrun in order to do that one because it's like, holy cow, dude, I am not very good at this. In the meantime, um, I'm going to pass you guys to a good pal. Uh, I lied. Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Cancel that. Cancel that. What the hell happened? Oh. Um, okay. Maybe not. I have no doubt. Like, Super Metroid speedrun in general is not the most beginner-friendly because it is super reflex oriented <clears throat> 